Hi, MW here. Welcome to my channel and my home. I have decided that when I got this home that I just love, it was an open concept in the kitchen, the breakfast table area, and my family room. So when you hear me say area, like my family room area, my breakfast room area, that is a clue for you to know that I've chosen to use furniture to designate in a particular situation, okay? So what I told you was that McKinsey Childs is a company that's very well known, a company that I love, and I've been buying things through them for many years. So what I decided to do was to take and use those colors to coincide together. Once we get to the kitchen area, not this time, you will notice that all the stuff that was like in the family room area, the breakfast room area, and I'm talking about the colors. So those colors are being distributed throughout the room. So this is a bowl that I have chosen that would coincide beautifully with these colors. This is one of the McKenzie Child mugs which I adore and love. This one here is black, yellow, blue, purple, many colors that you will notice. Over here on this one over here, I have the Royal Check, which is just beautiful. It's a beautiful blue and I'm a person who love my blue colors. Okay, so I'm putting the mug here. Okay, now I'm going around the table so that you can see that I have arranged the table with a white tablecloth that has various colors on either side. And then I decided I had a runner that I made and that I could very well use this in this particular area. So I've done that. I took the runner that has some of the colors that you see in the pillars that I made. This is perfect to set the room in a beautiful atmosphere. So here we go over here. I'm going to put the royal check right there. And you can see it's just, it's a beautiful table. And over here, I have this one I have over this area, which makes it blend just perfect. You'll notice the difference in the colors that I have chosen and the pillows I bought for this particular area. And, um, and this is some of the other pillows that I've chosen to go very well with my table. Now I'm coming on this end and what I'm doing is setting up the color, the mugs that I have. Okay, this mug is black and it's going over here. Um, the plate mat that I've chosen has like a, a berry finish to it, uh, which is just wonderful for what I wanted to uh, use and make it look the way I wanted it to be. And I have simply gotten all of this stuff arranged and let you see it's okay to use various colors. I'm a person that does not like to have matchy matchy. I can't stand it because I think it's boring. But when you have odd colors in an area, it'll take your eyes around the table, make you say, hey, this looks really nice. And I have this one over here that I'm going to show you is uh, the picture of what I've gotten from Mackenzie Childs. It is beautiful. And I have this beautiful piece to go under it and I can spin it around if I want. And what I wanted to do was not have a huge arrangement where you can't see a person on the other side. So what I have done, I've made sure that the <clears throat> center piece arrangement that I was going to use was going to clear my lights. And you can see on either side, 
If for some reason you feel like, wait a minute, wait a minute, uh uh-uh, I don't like, you can always remove and put it back when you want to use it. It's just that simple. Uh, The colors and things speaks to you. There's the black. There's the royal blue. There's the red bows. And you have the black check platter that's under the plate. Now, you may notice I have done something a little different. This chair section, I chose to go with a solid blue dish. It's a dinner plate, and but it's in the same colors as the royal check. So I wanted that to have a little contrast at the table, and it's not boring. And when you sit to look at what you have done, it is fabulous. The colors are just fantastic throughout the areas. Now, when I show you the kitchen area, that's going to include everything. I will come back and show you what we did in the family room area, what we have done here in the breakfast room area, and in the kitchen. The kitchen will wrap it all with all the colors that I have chosen to use. And the beauty of doing stuff like this, something that makes you very happy. Like I've said before, the colors in a room speaks to you. It'll tell you. And as I have said many times before, the best designer you have is your eyes. They will definitely, definitely show you what looks good and what doesn't. So what I usually do when I have a a customer and I bring out different pieces of fabric, they want to know how is this going to work? How in the world is this going to work with all of this? Well, the beauty of it, the background of this one, it's black. And it has berry colors, gold colors. You know, I wanted to speak to you and not feel like everything had to be matched. You can appreciate your stuff more when you are dealing with various colors. You just have to know when enough is enough. And that's something that I believe you all have a little problem with because sometimes I'll do stuff and I'll go, oh, it just looks beautiful. It's beautiful. Then I leave out the room and I come back and here come my eyes again. Oh, this is too much. You need to stop. You need to look and preview what you have done. Well, that's the eyes. That's decorating for you. The eyes is a wonderful, beautiful thing because it can appreciate the beauty from within. It is one of those things that I feel like your kitchen, your house, your living room, your family room, all of those areas have to talk to you. It starts at the front door. When you come into the house, I'm introducing you into my home. The outside is the house, okay? So your whole house needs to speak to you. It doesn't have to be as profound as to what the colors I have chosen, but you want it to look at you and see how nice it looks because The eyes, as I'll say again and again, is your best friend when it comes to if something looks good or not. Well, I hope you have enjoyed um, what I've said and showed you the table that I've chosen and the things that I've chosen in the um, breakfast area. And my whole thing is it's supposed to welcome you. It's supposed to make you happy. I've worked so hard and now everybody has a chance to see who I am. And that is the whole thing, the whole thing. So if you like what you've seen, I welcome you to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and hit the bell because every time I come on, it will let you know, uh uh-oh, MW has something new that she's showing us. So I hope that you will feel, yes, I want to watch and see where she's gone with all of this. I am a decorator. I went to school to be a decorator. 
because I've always had this particular dream as to what I like about a house speaking to me. It becomes your home once you come in. It gives people, hmm, I like this. Hmm, uh, you're not going to please all the people all the time. But when you have variations of situation, your beautiful eyes will pick up on it. When you come in and you see this, you don't want your eyes to stop and say, oh, 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 that's, that's, that's okay. You want it to go all the way around. So it can see the various colors that you have chosen. Take care. Bye.